Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know, just randomly decided to click on my video. Welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do reaction and we are diving back into the world of our dining table. We're diving into episode two. This one last month's poll that I put over on Patreon, this and Vincenzo. So those are the two series I'm diving into. I finished reacting to The Untamed a couple days ago. So this one, this one had the highest number of votes. So we're going to dive into this one, this one next. And then once I finish out either this one or It's Okay Not To Be Okay, depending which one I finish first, we'll dive back into Vincenzo. It's been probably like a month, a month and a half since I've watched episode one. So actually right before I turned on the camera, I just pulled up episode one and just kind of skimmed through it. I remember the majority of what was going on there, but just kind of skimmed through it to remind myself of like names, because y'all know I'm terrible with names, and just general stuff. And I saw like the last like 45 seconds of the episode um, when he was when he was at work and he answered the phone call and he's just out there smiling and having a conversation. And his coworkers are like, well, this is so unusual because we've seen him throughout just the episode he's very much kind of a l lone wolf he eats by himself he does all his stuff on his own and he doesn't really super socialize um but he just had this big smile on his face and he seemed genuinely happy and literally i started to get a little emotional watching that. i'm like oh my god the feel the feel good feels are feeling good right now oh god it's only i'm only watching like 45 seconds of the episode so far oh. so yes i think this is just the sweet feel good series that my heart needs um especially since you can probably hear it in my voice i'm not a hundred percent like i feel fine i got sick about a week and a half ago when i was out of town doing shows and um it's just been kind of lingering a little bit so i feel fine the majority of the symptoms are gone it's just it sounds awful it sounds like it's lingering in my throat uh, yesterday i was my voice was getting exhausted relatively quickly i woke up today felt much better but still it's just kind of lingering here there. so we'll see how much i get through this recording session but yeah we're just gonna dive into episode two and see where it takes us <laughs> He's looking fondly at his calendar, like, we're almost there. It's almost time for curry. <laughs> I want his curry now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, give me that phone. <laughs> mm -mm. See, when the child says they'll wake up earlier, don't don't listen to them because they already waking up at like six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm sure he will, baby. I'm sure he will. Did you see the how much he was beaming when he when he hurt? So the Taneku. あ、えっと。よかった。ストップ。よかった。帰っちゃう。Oh Lord, baby, we got we gotta find a better way for you to deal with your excitement. Oh. 
<laughs> little voice. Ah, she must the stock. Girl, you run out of everything, girl. Okay, that'll work. Plan is Minoru Kun is cooking food. Ah, yeah, I'm almost done. Sometimes I'm close to my grandma's house. I'm going to bring food. That's right. I'm not good at cooking. I'm a mess. 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 We just cook what tastes good. Nothing but a meal full of carbs. Me. It's like I'm healthy again. I love him. Please do. ユタカ。ユタカ。ユタカ。ユタカ。ユタカ。ユタカ。ユタカ。ユタカ。ユタカ。ユタカ。ユタカ。ユタカ。ユタカ。ユタカ。ユタカ。ユタカ。ユタカ
Minoru obviously is dealing with the fact that his mom has passed and he's kind, ha kind of having to take on the responsibility of being a secondary caretaker along with his dad to take care of his brother. So he had to, you know, take some time off of school to help take care of his brother and he's working this, that, the other. And, you know, he's doing the best he can. It's a lot of responsibility to be, you know, put on someone's shoulders like that. Not, and I don't think his dad was like, hey, you need to help out or take out. Like, I don't think there's anything like that. I think he took on the responsibility willingly. But still, these are scenarios that happen to a lot of people. A lot of people, unfortunately, um, lose a parent or multiple parents at younger ages and have to take on the responsibility of raising are helping to raise younger siblings. Um, and that's a storyline that we could potentially dive further into. Um, some of the personal struggles that Minoru might be having with that um, and how this chance meeting or this chance relationship with um, Yutaka could help him to deal with those feelings potentially um there's also the they had a little bit of a not really confusion about each other's ages but they thought yutaka was older minero was younger um because just i guess how yutaka presents himself so that there's a lot of potential for where storylines could go and if there's one thing that the japanese series that i've watched thus far have done so well they have done a really good job of telling these stories in under these condensed timelines so again the episodes are like 20 minutes long there's i think 10 so so it's not a extendedly long series but all the japanese series i've watched have told such compelling stories have had such compelling characters and have done it in you know, very minimal time in comparison to like Thai series and what and some of the other countries that I've watched where it's like hour, hour and a half long episodes and we've got 30 of them or, you know, something along those lines. Um, so I'm very interested to see just where they take the story. But all in all, it is adorable. It is heartwarming. Um, and there are so many times throughout there where I'm like, guys, stop it. And I... I have my headphones in so I can't hear my voice, but I can feel, I can feel what I'm saying. And I'm like, oh Lord, I probably sound, cause like I feel fine, but my vocal cords are still kind of encased in this mucus and it's unpleasant. So like I try to, you know, do my normal, guys, stop it, you know, up in my mix. Whenever I'm sick, my mix is usually the first thing to go. So. I'm uninstinctually just floating up there because I want to say it because it's super duper adorable. Every time they do something adorable, I do my head just, my voice kind of just floats up into the sky and I'm like, it's so adorable. But then my voice is like, yeah, no, 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 we're not, we're not going to let you have access to that. So if there were parts of this reaction that were just completely unintelligible, I apologize because again, I'm just kind of second naturally watching it and doing what I would normally do, but my vocal cords are not quite free yet so soon enough i'm actually gonna go make myself a cup of tea and hopefully that will help to melt away some things and maybe i'll have better access to my vocal cords but i'm gonna go make some tea dive into the next episode and we're gonna see where the things are things good but i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe share turn on notifications to be notified when all my shenanigans get posted anything else you'd like me to react to be sure to leave it down in the comments i'll get to it as soon as i possibly can if you'd like to support the channel in other ways you're more than welcome to join us over on patreon you don't have to but you're more than welcome to if you want to and i'll see you guys in my next video love ya Mwah.
Now it's together, there's nothing